Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do another Honest MLM review, which is a series that I started on my channel where I take MLM products and review them from an unbiased source because I'm not a distributor and never will be. So today we are going to talk about Agnes and Dora clothing. These are the three items that were sent to me by Stephanie and her information is linked down in the description box below if you guys want to purchase these for yourself. I got a black tank top, some leggings that are like Minnie Mouse colored, and a floral pencil skirt. These are also a pair of Agnes and Dora leggings. I've had these for five years or four years, four years. And Stephanie didn't send them to me, but they're by the same company. And so I am including them in this review just for like reference for how these hold up long term. We are going to talk about fit and wear and wash. And I'll talk about some longevity with this guy, but yeah. So let's talk about the thing that I like the most first. I really, really love this skirt. It is a super cute floral pattern. There's not a button or a zipper or anything like that. Like it's kind of just like a knit material that stretches around your body, if you know what I mean. And the pencil skirt is $28 on the Agnes and Dora website. It fits at like the perfect length. When I wear it, it hits me like at my waist and goes down to just below my knees. And I'm 5'3 and I'm in what size? I'm wearing a size small and then my favorite thing about it is the material. It's not that like sheer type of cheap material that when you bend over like shears out and you can see your underwear or that you can like see the sun through it. Like no, that isn't this material. As you're walking, your full coverage still. That was one of the first things that I checked. And the other thing that I love about these is the waistband. It's like a soft knit material, but it's doubled up in the waistband, it's folded over. And why I like that is because it stretches over your waist, but not as much as it stretches like in the booty and leg area. And so it's super comfortable to walk in. It's really nice how it like fits and hugs your curves, but the waistband keeps everything tight in that like lower abdomen area which is where I have some flab or like excess skin from holding my babies and so it just isn't as nice and tight as it once was and this just kind of like sucks it all in for me and has like a little bit of a slimming effect as well it like isn't tight enough to like give you muffin top or anything like that but it just kind of keeps it all secure in there and it's like having little mini spanks built into your skirt already so I don't have anything negative to say about this skirt I love it now let's talk about the tank top so this is just a basic black tank top I got a medium it's one of those tank tops that's like a little bit tighter in the shoulders and the boob area and then goes nice and flowy and long throughout the rest of the bodice. It's really like super comfy to wear. Like I ended up wearing this tank top mostly like to the gym and to sleep because it's just super comfortable. One of my favorite ways to wear it is to tie a knot at the you know at the base of the bodice right there like where your jeans hit and that like raises the hem a little bit and tightens it all up and makes it not so flowy and a little bit more form fitting while giving it a fun little like stylized element to it so that is the way that I preferred to dress this tank top up if I was going to wear it out but for the most part I just wore it as like a PJ shirt and let it flow. The one bad thing that I didn't like about this tank top is the hem at the bottom wasn't like a straight line like it was advertised on the website and so you know it's probably not the highest quality tank top that you've ever seen but it is really comfy and casual. The tank top runs at $28 on the uh, Agnes and Dora website but overall it's just kind of like a basic tank top. Now let's talk about the leggings. These are the two leggings that I have from Agnes and Dora. This is the one that Stephanie sent to me and then this is the one that I've had for four years. Some of the things that I like are the material is extremely soft and it stays just as soft even after 
like a hundred or more washes. They have a lot of different patterns. So if like this floral and this polka dot aren't up your alley, then they'll probably have something that you do like amongst their selections. They're a good length. They're not like too short where they sit at the calf. They're, they go all the way down to past my ankles and bunch a teeny bit down there without like looking like there's a ton of excess material. They don't really get very sheer as you stretch them, like to pull them tight. For example, if you were doing like crunches at the gym, they still hold their like opacity really well. So um, I haven't had an issue when I've worn them to work out where I'm like feeling like I'm exposed if I do like squats like that. One of the things that I don't like about them are it is like the world's longest crotch. Do you see this? Like it's legit bigger than my head, the crotches. <laughs> do you know those tights that you put on and like when you pull them up you could like almost stick it under your bra they're like pulled up so high because there's so much extra extra material that's kind of what these leggings are like but i would rather that they have too long of a crotch than too short of a crotch so you know there's that i wear them like up and above my waist so they're like super high-waisted there's lots of room they're kind of like one size fits all a little bit these are technically a size small slash medium that i got and they are 22 dollars the other thing that i don't like about them is I'm not a huge fan of this elastic waistband. I would have rather preferred either like a thicker waistband or I don't know, just something that wasn't so like ruffly when it's not pulled tight. I also wouldn't have probably picked out this pattern if I were the one shopping for these myself but like I mentioned they do have a pretty good selection of different types of patterns and a couple of solids as well if you are into that instead. Um, Talking about longevity, I don't know how the longevity is on the tank top or the skirt, but in regards to these leggings, they've held up really, really well over the years, especially considering how much I wear them. I don't have any holes or anything in them. Like, they're still doing really good. The material has faded just slightly in the crotch area. You can see the difference in color, like right here it's kind of gray versus right here where it's basically black. Like. All of it used to be this like high of contrast, but it's kind of faded in that area, mostly because I don't have a thigh gap. And so when I walk, my legs brush together and the material gets a little bit threadbare. But for how often I wear these, that's like, they're doing really good. A lot of my other pants are like already dead and gone and these are still holding in there. The last thing that I noticed that was a little bit like nitpicky was when I got these pants, there was a lot of extra um, like surging hem. They just hadn't clipped all of their strings, which is really not that big of a deal. It wasn't like that altered the fit or the style of these leggings at all, but I guess it's just something worth mentioning since I am doing the review, is I had to go and cut all of those extra strings before I wore them the first time. So now let's talk about washing. I got washing instructions when I was sent these clothes. You're supposed to wash them in cold water and hang them to dry. And I obeyed those rules for the first time that I washed them and they held up fine, but I've washed these pants enough times in like hot water and definitely put them in the dryer to where I was like, I think I'm I think I'm going to just try and wash these clothes normally like with the rest of my clothes. So I put them in my wash and I had them in hot water and then I threw them in the dryer and luckily they didn't shrink, they didn't bleed, they didn't have any like adverse reactions to that washing method. Now granted I only tried that on these three styles of clothes so it could be that you know you're not going to be that lucky if you did that with a different type of clothing from their store but for me Washing was great and fine and I didn't necessarily have to be super careful with them in that regards. The store overall in general when I went and looked on the website I feel like they cater a lot towards like flowy comfy soft types of clothing. You know those types of clothes that you can wear and dress up and look fancy but like you could also wear them as pajamas. It's like tricking the world like hey I'm dressed up and I'm ready to go run errands but little do you know I slept in this shirt last night. Like that's a little bit of the vibes that I get from the clothes that they have which is not a bad thing and so they have a lot of really cute stuff that just also looks really really comfortable so 
If that is your type of style, then maybe check that website out. Like I mentioned, Stephanie is the distributor that hooked me up with most of these clothes today, and her website will be linked down in the description box below if you want to purchase any of these items for yourself or take a look at what she has to offer. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this review covered everything. I haven't done a clothing review before, so I don't know exactly if I hit all of the points that you were curious about, but if I didn't cover anything, then just ask me a question down in the comments below, and I'd love to reply to you, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!